lights. Let's go in the basement and see what I've been doing. I just put a new sump pump in yesterday, made in China. My made in USA one on the box that was actually made in China inside that was delivered in three pieces. I repaired it, but it got stuck on and it ran forever and it burned out just like this one's gonna do if that garden hose touches that lever. Made in China, runs nice and quiet though. I've had a lot of sump pumps in my life, more probably than you've had Subway sandwiches. But what am I doing? I'm in the basement in the dungeon in my soaking wet basement with my eight inch fire line. Used to cost 70 bucks a month just to have this connected. Too bad it didn't go anywhere, right into the sump pit. But that was canceled. They turned it off at the street. Some owner of this building was paying for an eight inch fire line for 50 million years and it was never connected to anything. It just was roughed in and dumped into the pit. Today, I have been hooking up a new smaller downsized water meter because I had a one inch water meter, which means I pay for a minimum of 8,000 gallons a month, which equals 70 something dollars a month. And I just noticed my water bill. I used a thousand gallons when I was away on my road trip. And uh, I said, why don't I pay for 8,000 gallons, blah, blah, blah. Well, downsize your water meter. So they came this morning, they removed this. Well, I removed it. I put a reducer from one inch to three quarter. And I'm three quarters anyways on the top through my backflow preventer. So I have now plumbed this together. I did my soldering and I forgot the water bottle outside. And then I had to use a little top of the flux container to put water on my soldered joints. I don't melt the valves. And then I stuck a, whoop, why is that sump pump making that light dim? Very interesting. I must have a bad connection. Then I dropped this and I made a hole in it. So hopefully this video will post in its entirety. I'm going to turn the water on and see what happens. Yep. Got water. Let's hope I don't have any leaks. Well, none so far. I'm turning the water onto the whole building. Bombs away. I've got the water on in the sink, the mop sink upstairs. And I've got the water on over there, it seems. So I cut some pieces off. I didn't have the fittings that I needed. So I salvaged them from over there. And I'm going to put a cap on that. But what's important is I post this video. It go viral. And with all these suicides lately, a friend of the family was just found dead. His two friends survived. Opium overdose of some sort. Let your fingers do the walking. If you've got a suicidal problem, you see a friend, turn it in. There's nothing good about people killing themselves when tomorrow is a new, bright, sunny day. Wow, not good news.